Today's dish is inspired by none other than Fuwa Isamu himself, also known as Kamen Rider Vulcan from Kamen Rider Zero One. We wanted to make a dish that would call back to some things that make Vulcan who he is. So we hope you all enjoy today's entree, Fuwa's Shooting Wolf Raviolo. It's time to hench in some food into a tasty dish here on Heroes Homemade. First, we have to make some water blue. Put about a cup of water to boil. In a separate bowl, grab one cup of butterfly pea flowers, which you can find an Amazon affiliate link for in the description. This is going to turn our water and our pasta into a very nice Vulcan blue. Mix and set aside for about five to 10 minutes. The longer you leave it, the deeper the blue will be. Strain and wring out any leftover liquid in the flowers. Set aside. Dang, that's blue. Let's start the pasta dough. Two cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt. Now mix. You can use any kind of flour, but we use this double zero flour. Add three fourths of a cup of Vulcan water and two tablespoons of olive oil. Three fourths of a cup is more than half, but less than a full cup. With the dough hook attachment on your lowest setting, mix until you have a scruffy wolf blob. Then place onto a clean floured surface to start shaping your pasta dough. Here, I'm really just pushing everything inwards, then folding over in half and flipping while I knead the dough into itself. You can see here we like to keep some extra flour on the side, just in case our dough gets a little sticky while we're kneading. Add little by little if necessary. You're gonna do this for at least 10 minutes, just until you have a smooth and bouncy pasta dough. Kind of like this. Set aside to rest for another 10 minutes. Onto the filling. Throw two cups of ricotta, half cup of parm cheese. We're using fresh grated, but use what you got. One tablespoon of onion powder and one tablespoon of garlic powder. A note here, if you're a garlic head, go for the whole tablespoon. But if you're cool with garlic, but not really best friends, go for the half tablespoon. Then add a half a tablespoon of distilled white vinegar. You could also substitute lemon juice. About this much salt and about this much pepper. Now mix and taste for seasoning. We ended up adding another pinch of salt. Mix again and refrigerate. It's rolling time, baby. Flour your work surface and cut your dough in half. I press the dough down here because I find it makes the start of the rolling easier and it also gives me a chance to flour the top of the dough. Make sure you have a stable place to roll out the dough. We use this thin, unadhesive paper and it wasn't really the best for this specific task. You want to roll it out thin, but not too thin because it's got important stuff inside. Cut your edges to make sure we have a nice, even dough to work with. Save your trim because you can roll that back up for more pasta. A raviolo is just a big ravioli with an egg yolk in the center, so we want to cut our pasta into big squares, large enough to fit your filling and egg yolk. Make sure you have a top and a bottom. For our piping bag, we used a Ziploc bag like last week's video. Then pipe out your ricotta filling in tall rings, leaving the center for our surprise. Place your yolks in the center and cover, sealing tightly on the edges. We ended up cutting our corners with a pizza roller, but you can also use a fork to crimp the edges. Bath time! Because this is fresh pasta, it doesn't have to cook as long as dried pasta. So two to three minutes is plenty. You want your yolk to be runny, but still have a nice firm pasta. Top with some olive oil and some salt and pepper and you're good to go. And it's taste time! Time to taste! Yum, yum, yum! Alright, so I, I'm sorry if this one was too adventurous for some people, 
but this is a very cool recipe that we both have been interested in and I don't know, we're excited to try it out. So let's dig in. Very excited for this one. It's so good. All right. Okay. Cool. Cheers. Cheers. Boop. <laughs> So the first entree. Okay. It's so good. <laughs> so like the ricotta mixture is pretty garlicky, mm -hmm. but like it works very well with like the the yolk and just like the nice pasta dough. It's so it's so like texturally it's very nice and you know it's I don't want to say al dente, but like it's not too soft, it's not too hard, it's just nice. Yeah, definitely like. This pasta is a, a good recipe. Mm-hmm. I don't know if anyone is hesitant with this fresh pasta dough, given that it doesn't have eggs, just water and flour and oil. But, like, it's almost exactly like if you had added eggs. Yeah, like, it still has a really nice bite to it. It's got, like... It doesn't have, like, its own flavor per se, but, like, the flavor is fine. Like, it doesn't take away from anything. I gotta say my favorite part about this dish is the white gnocchi homage. I think that was fun to play with as far as like when we thought of recipes for seasons. Yeah. Making something blue with white inside just like made so much sense to me. And then when we thought of raviolo, I was like, fuck, that's perfect. That's the one. You know? I think my favorite part is the blue. I just think it's so cool looking and it came out really good. Absolutely. How many progress keys out of 10? I'm giving this one a solid 8.5 progress keys. Progress keys out of 10. Definitely. <laughs> you know, like it, it's, it's high up there. And I think this is like a standard for dishes. No, like they have to be good. Definitely. Yeah, this is at least like an eight for me. Eight Definitely. progress keys. Absolutely. And I think if anybody is too scared to try out the raviolo with the egg, you can easily make mini cheese raviolis. We did that on the side today and it's just as easy. Just as good. Um, with the dough, you just cut it differently, smaller, and like just make, pipe out little spots of ricotta, put another layer on top, super easy. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. Um, as always, check the links down below for ingredients that you may want to buy through Amazon. Usually going through the links makes it easier for everybody else, and it also helps out the channel, so we'd appreciate that. To anybody attempting these recipes, feel free to tag us at Pronghorn Heroes on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram with the hashtag Heroes Homemade. Please, please do it. Make these recipes. And with that, we'll see you in the next one, Heads. See you for dessert. <laughs>